But we didn't travel all over Equestria searching for you to come home without you. Well, I didn't ask you to come looking for me. There is nothing to tell, and I am not going back to Ponyville. I don't care what she says. Applejack's not telling us something. Twilight's right. We gotta get her to spill the beans. What? She had beans? Uh, I told her I would snack eight. You ready to put your back into it, Applejack? Sure am, Miss Jubilee. Terrific! Come on in, girls! What are you all doing here? We're your cherry sorters. Shall we get started? Fine. <laughs> Red cherries go in one bin and yellow cherries go in the other. Simple as cherry pie. Uh, just one teensy thing to remember. Have fun! What are you five up to? Well, uh... You made working on a cherry orchard sound so delightful. Uh-huh. Well, just remember, no talking about Ponyville. Fine. Why don't you quit talking and get walking? Jay, how was Canterlot? Not talking about Ponyville, talking about Canterlot, totally different town. Canterlot was fine. Was the rodeo fun? Yes. Did you meet some nice ponies there? Some. Really? Did you see Wild Bull Hickok? Oh, what about Calamity Mae? Yes, I saw them both. And how did you meet Miss Jubilee? Um, well... Miss Jubilee had a cherry stand at the rodeo. Real good treats. Um, excuse me? Cherry winks, cherry cheesecake, cherry tarts. We struck up a conversation being orchard folk and all. So you told her about Sweet Apple Acres? Yes. Did you tell her why you weren't going back? No, because it was none of her business. Can you please slow down? Is it because I made it rain on you that one time? No! Because you were insulted when I gave you that book on organized orchards? No! Is it because you were insulted when I insulted your hair? No, no, no! I'm not telling you why, so just stop! Well, girls, we seem to be striking out. That's because we're playing too nice. Yes, desperate times do call for desperate measures. It's time to call in the big guns. You promise not to ask me any questions? I promise. Have you ever had a cherry chonga? Ooh, sorry, that was a question. That kind of question is fine, Pinky. No, I, I never had a cherry chonga. Well, no wonder, because I made it up myself. A cherry chonga is mashed up cherries in a tortilla that's deep fried. Cherry chonga, great name, huh? Oh, but maybe I should call it a chimmy cherry. Ooh, that's good too. Which do you think sounds better, cherry chaga or chimmy cherry? Or what if I combine them, chimmy cherry chaga? Oh, what sounds the funniest? I like funny words. One of my favorite funny words is kumquat. I didn't make that one up. I would work in a kumquat orchard just so I could say kumquat all day. Kumquat, kumquat, kumquat. A treat from Sugar Cube Corner will cheer you up. No, it won't. A party will cheer you up. No, it won't. A lovely new chapeau will cheer you up. No, it won't. Come on, Apple Bloom. It's just a cutie mark. Or lack of a cutie mark. Shh, that's not helping. Apple Bloom, where are you going? Apple Bloom, come back. Oh. 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 
well. Who is it that we have here? Why, it's Apple Blue, my dear. Oh! What has happened to you, youth? Ah, you've gone and chipped your tooth. Come with me. I have just the trick that will fix you up quite quick. I tried everything, Decora, and still no cutie mark. Well, I'm gonna be as old as Granny Smith and still have a blank slate. Your frustration is well understood, but one must be patient for all things good. Ugh, I've heard that from every pony I know, and now from every zebra I know. I'm just too impatient to be patient. I just want my cutie mark and I want it now! For your cutie mark, you will have to wait. We must fix that tooth before it's too late. Now drink down every little drop, and this mixture will mend that chip on top. Yes, little one, it is true. I have many a healing brew. And not only stuff that fixes the bad, but stuff that brings the good. Good health, good hair, good heavens! Hmm. I bet you can mix up a brew to fix anything. There are many mixtures in this room, but none for what you want, dear Apple Bloom. A magic potion does not hold the key. For a cutie mark, time is the only remedy. Fine. What you got going on there? I am brewing up another mix for a rooster and his chicks. Seems the rooster has lost its crow, making mornings very slow. Hey, I've seen that flower blooming in Ponyville. What is it? It is one we call Heart's Desire. A dash will ignite the rooster's fire. With Heart's desire, his talent comes into view, and he'll give a mighty cock a doodle doo. Sowie! Heart's desire, huh? I mean, but what is this? I've run out of amethyst. I must go get this purple flower for my brew to have full power. Yeah, you go, you go. It's fine. It'll all be fine. The day isn't over yet, but it will be over soon. Ugh. It'll be all over. My time in Ponyville, my advanced studies. No, no, you're a good student. You can do this. Oh, but what if I can't? You can. You just have to keep it together. Keep it together. Are you talking to yourself? Twilight? thing is really getting to you. Here, you've been so anxious all day that you completely forgot about the picnic. Why don't you just relax and go hang out with the picnic? I should go see my friends. I'm glad you've come to your senses. Please tell me I did not forget the plates. I did. I totally forgot them. Of all the worst things that could happen, this is the worst possible thing! <laughs> why? 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 Uh, what? You didn't expect me to lay on the grass, did you? You 
all right, huh? No! I am not all right. What? Oh, no. I don't no, quite I do. understand. It's just terrible. Yes. yes? Simply awful. Yes? yes? It's the most horrific trouble I've ever been in, and I really, really, really need your help. Yes? yes? My letter to Princess Celestia is almost overdue, and I haven't learned anything about friendship. <sighs> oh, thank goodness. I thought something really awful had happened. <laughs> something awful has happened. <laughs> if I don't turn in the letter on time, I'll be tardy. Tardy! <laughs> <laughs> No offense, Sugar Cube, but it looks like some ponies getting themselves all worked up over nothing. This is not nothing. This is everything. I need you guys to help me find some pony with a problem I can fix before sundown. My whole life depends on it! Oh, Twilight, you're such a crack-up. <laughs> Come on now. Have a seat and stop sweating the small stuff. <sighs> wow, I've never seen Twilight so upset before. Oh, what a drama queen. <clears throat> Relatively speaking. Clock is ticking, Twilight. Clock is ticking. Keep it together. If I can't find a friendship problem, I'll make a friendship problem. <laughs> hi, girls! Oh, hi, Twilight. How's it going? Great. Just great. You three look like you're doing great, too. Looks like three good friends who obviously don't need the help of another good friend. Smarty Pants. She was mine when I was your age, and now I want to give her to you! Uh, she's uh, great. Yeah, great. <gasps> I say, that's one way to make an introduction. Oh, goodness. I am so sorry. I, I can see you there. I I've just got so many bags, and I was trying to get back to my suite at the castle, and... You're staying at the castle? Oh, the, the princess invited me to stay in one of the suites. You know the princess? Hmm, a pony with expensive tastes, I see. Oh, it's for an ensemble I'm making for a friend. Her birthday's in a few days. Again, I'm really sorry I bumped into you. I'm not. <laughs> you are obviously some pony worth bumping into. Listen, I have a VIP box reserved at the Wonder Bolts Derby this afternoon. Would you, would you be so kind as to join me and a few of my companions there? Hmm? Me? But of course, my dear. Well, I, I'm, uh, I'm not sure. We'd love to see you there. Uh, uh, Rarity. Rarity. Pro, seeing the Derby from a VIP box is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Con. Going to the Derby cuts into the amount of time I have to finish Twilight's outfit. Pro. Fancy Pants is the most important pony in Canterlot. His stamp of approval could mean big things for me here. Con. Twilight's party might not be as sophisticated as the Derby, but that doesn't mean I shouldn't put all of my energy into creating her birthday ensemble. My ponyville friends will appreciate my hard work more than any pony. I hate to let them down. And I won't. Opal. I am going to the Wonderbolts Derby as a guest of Fancy Pants. Are taking their places at the starting line and are racing to begin momentarily. 
I'll be rooting for rapid fire, of course. Be sure to take home the grand prize. Mm -hmm. I don't think he has a chance against Fleetfoot. No! <laughs> I say, how did you know Fleetfoot would be victorious? My friend Rainbow Dash talks about her all the time. She says what Fleetfoot lacks in size, she makes up for in speed. And who is this Rainbow Dash? Uh... Why, she's... She's the, the Wonder Boats. Trainer, of course. Staying at Canterlot Castle, and she knows that Pegasus is training the Wonder Bolts. I told you all this was an important pony. Oh, oh. Lovely, yes. really. Three cheers for Rarity, my new favorite party guest. Beats me. Rise! Get back! All of you! This is my book, and I'm gonna read it! <gasps> the elements! Discord and put everything back to normal. See, girls? We did it! We found the elements of harmony! Together! <sighs> you don't even care, do you? No! <sighs> I never thought it would happen. My friends have turned into complete jerks! Necklace, 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 and big crown thingy! Come on, every pony, let's go! What, Twilight? Aren't you missing some pony? Nope. We got the liar, the grump, the hoarder, and the brute. That just about covers it. What about Rainbow Dash? Congratulations, Spike. You're the new Rainbow Dash. Now let's go! Me? But, but, but what if she finds out I've been impersonating her? Ugh, that won't end well. Too bad. You're Rainbow Dash. Now let's go defeat Discord so we don't ever have to talk to each other again. Yeah! yeah! Woo <laughs> Oh. Look out! Here comes Tom! Well, 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 I see you found the elements of harmony. How terrifying! Discord, I figured out your lame riddle. You're in for it now! I certainly am. You've clearly outdueled me, and now it's time to meet my fate. I'm prepared to be defeated now, ladies. Fire when ready. Formation, now! Uh, Rainbow Dash, get over here! All right, let's get this over with. Mine's working. There must be something wrong with yours. I hate the elements of harmony. <laughs> Garbage. <laughs> Sorry, Twilight. I guess I better get back upstairs and clean up the library. Good luck with all this. No! Oops. Sorry, Rainbow Crash. <laughs> Bravo, ponies. Bravo. Harmony in Equestria is officially dead. Discord rules Celestia drools. <laughs> it's your fault it didn't work! Who are you talking to? Any of you! All of you! I'm out of here! I better go, too. I got new, better friends waiting for me at the farm. Yeah, I'm sick of you losers. Fine, leave. See if I care. I don't need you guys either. With friends like you, who needs... enemies?
<laughs> my stomach. <laughs> Twilight, you've got to see what I just did. all you can do, huh? Competition, so I'm gonna have to take some points off. <sighs> Listen, turtle. Tortoise. Whatever. You've had your fun, but I think you and I both know who made the cut and who didn't. You didn't. Everything. You gave it your best shot. Maybe I've got a gold star sticker around here somewhere you can have. But seriously, go home. You're starting to creep me out. So, anyway... You're all outstanding competitors. But there can only be one of you who's number one. So the final tie-breaking mm. contest is going to be... Pause for dramatic effect. A race against me through Ghastly Gorge! Dun dun dun! Kazoo Knight. Actually, Ghastly Gorge isn't scary. It's fun. <laughs> I've flown through it a million times myself, so uh, obviously I'll be at the front of the pack. But whichever of you make it across the finish line with me will have proven you can keep up with me and will have earned the honor and glory of getting to be my pet. Ready? Set, go! <laughs>
Celebration Day, so let's move Harvest Day instead. They don't look quite ripe. Harvesting apples early never hurt an apple. I don't know. Zappy apple trees aren't like normal apple trees. They're magic. How different can they be? Well, if we can't buck them, let's just pick them. Wait, 
or it's uncouth. It's not just the social. She thinks I'm uncouth. Honey, Rarity thinks everything's uncouth. What's uncouth? It means uncivil, you know, bad-mannered. Uh. Exactly. Sweetie Belle, just give Rarity some time. She'll come around. Sisters always do. Not sisters like Rarity. Come on now. Apple Bloom and I got some chores to finish up on. Maybe you can help. You sure you want me to help? I just mess everything up. Oh, come on. That's just stinking thinking. Watch. together. Ugh. All that work ruined. Thanks to Sweetie Belle. Oh my, it's usually a big mess in here. <gasps> Idea! This is genius. I shall call it Full Spectrum Fashions. Why, if Sweetie Belle hadn't... <clears throat> no matter. She still shouldn't have touched my things without permission. Hm. A lot of ponies will come to watch us. A lot? Hundreds. Hundreds? <gasps> Maybe even thousands. <gasps> oh, my hair! Applejack, be a dear and shut those windows, will you? <sighs> Rainbow Dash! Rainbow Dash! <sighs> Thank you! It's a reenactment of the founding of Equestria. It's not the Rainbow Dash Show. Well, it should be the Rainbow Dash Show. I'm the star. Fluttershy, you've got to come out of there. Curtain in two minutes. Twilight, let me handle this. My hair. Hey, <laughs> the Hearts Harmony pageant is about harmony and friendship. Shut the window! Once upon a time, long before the peaceful rule of Celestia, and before ponies discovered our beautiful land of Equestria, ponies did not know harmony. It was a strange and dark time, a time when ponies were torn apart by hatred. <gasps> I know, can you believe it? During this frightful age, each of the three tribes, the Pegasi, the Unicorns, and the Earth Ponies, cared not for what befell the other tribes, but only for their own welfare. In those troubled times, as now, the Pegasi were the stewards of the weather. But they demanded something in return, food that could only be grown by the Earth Ponies. The unicorns demanded the same. In return for magically bringing forth day and night. And so, mistrust between the tribes festered, until one fateful day, it came to a boil. And what prompted the ponies to clash? It was a mysterious blizzard that overtook the land and toppled the tribe's precarious peace. The normally industrious earth ponies were unable to farm their land. were freezing. The home of the Pegasi fared no better. The Pegasi were hungry. And the unicorns were freezing and hungry. Even the unicorn's magic was powerless against the storm. Each tribe blamed the others for their suffering. And the angrier every pony grew, the worse the lizard became. And so it was decided that a grand summit would be held to figure out a way to cope with the blizzard. Each tribe sent their leaders. 
daughter of the Unicorn King, Princess Platinum. Ruler of the Pegasus, Commander Hurricane. And lastly, leader of the Earth Ponies, Chancellor Puddinghead. Perhaps the three tribes could finally settle their differences and agree on a way to get through this disaster. All I want to know is why the Earth Ponies are hogging all the food. Us? We're not hogging all the food, you are! Oh wait, you're right, it's us. Well, it's only because you mean old Pegasus are making it snow like crazy! For the hundredth time, it's not us! We're not making it snow. It must be the unicorns. They're doing it with their freaky magic. <gasps> How dare you! Unlike you Pegasi ruffians, we unicorns would never stoop to such a thing. Come on, son. <laughs> <laughs> I guess the raid wasn't a total waste after all. <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Oh, yeah. Nice going, Spike. Well, what are you waiting for, Spike? Smash it! Smash the egg? Yeah! Yeah! Throw it on the ground as hard as you can! Yeah! yeah. Smash, it. Smash, it. Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! Smash it! And I'm not gonna let you hurt it. What did you say? I said no. No one says no to me. No pony's gonna lay a claw on him. That's right. Fighting's not really my thing. I'm more into fashion. But I'll rip you to pieces if you touch one scale on his cute little head! <laughs> Oh, scary! <laughs> Spike, are these Namby Pamby ponies your friends? Yes, they are. And they're better friends than you could ever be. Now, if you don't back off, you'll see what us ponies do when confronted by a huge group of jerky dragons. Oh, yeah? <sighs> What's that? Run away! <laughs> <laughs> One. Thanks, you guys. Of course. What are friends for? You're more than friends. You're my family. <coughs> Dear Princess Celestia, seeing the great dragon migration made me wonder what it meant to be a dragon. But now I realize that who I am is not the same as what I am. I may have been born a dragon, but Equestria and my pony friends have taught me how to be kind, loyal, and true, I'm proud to call Ponyville my home and to have my pony friends as my family. Yours truly, Spike. <laughs> hey, welcome to the family, Pee-wee. Stick with me. I've got plenty to teach you about being a pony. touching my hooves. Man, I'd love it if Gabby Gums did a story on me. She did one on me. What? Ah! Exclusive. Local dragon tells all. Spock opens up about Canterlot, Naps, and his favorite jams. It's our best column yet. More like
like your worst column yet. Yabby Gums didn't become the biggest thing in Ponyville with Mamby Pamby stories like this. Uh, yeah, she's right. This column is a little softer than our usual gossip. Were you guys feeling guilty about all the gossip too? Like, maybe we could be hurting other ponies' feelings? Yeah, I didn't want to say anything because every pony loves Gabby Gums so much, but I was sort of hoping we could start writing more stories like this one. Me too. If we're gonna get our cutie marks, we've got to give the ponies what they want. Aww. Applejack, asleep on the job. Can y'all believe this? And this one, Big Macintosh, what's he hiding? Who the hey does this Gabby Gums think she is? Listen to this one. Twilight Sparkle, I was a Canterlot snob. A well-placed, scaly source close to the prissy pony says Twilight Sparkle thinks Ponyville is nothing but muddy roads and low-class rubes. Spike! Ah! How could you say such a thing? Well, I did it! Gabby Gums made that up! I never said anything like that! Every pony, please! She's just a harmless school pony engaged in a little idle gossip. You're really making too big a deal out of this. But it's all lies. Gabby Gums prints whatever she wants. She doesn't care whose reputation she destroys. Fluttershy has tail extensions. Pinkie Pie is an out of control party animal. What? It's true. I do have a problem. <laughs> oh, look. According to this one, the cakes are breaking up. We are? Well, my life is officially over. Gabby Gums has made it to Cloudsdale. Rainbow Dash, Speed Demon or Super Softy? I grabbed as many copies as I could, but it was too late. I'm a laughing stock. See, Rarity, your so-called harmless gossip can be very hurtful. Honestly, you ponies have no sense of humor. So she tweaks a few ponies every now and then. Maybe they deserve... <gasps> I'll destroy her! The Drama Queen Diaries. She's reprinted my diary. How could Gabby Gum possibly get access to my private diary? We've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Sweetie Belle's on the newspaper staff. Maybe she knows who Gabby Gums is. <gasps> my sister would never associate with someone as beastly as Gabby Gums. I resent you even suggesting such a thing, Twilight. Why, she's the most innocent, most lovely. Most evil pony in Equestria! How could my own sister steal my private diary? How could my own sister be... Gabby Gums? It's two Gabby Gums! You know, how'd you find out? The gilded pages of your betrayal! Oh, yeah. How could you do this to me? You sold my sacred diary and published it for all the world to read. Gossip can be a very hurtful thing. It is an invasion of privacy. Just like when I snooped through your saddlebag. You didn't like that much, did you? No. Cadence is only the most amazing pony ever. She's beautiful. She's caring. She's kind. I am so lucky to have you as my full sitter. I'm the one who's lucky, Twilight. <laughs> You're a princess. I'm just a regular old unicorn. You are anything but a regular old unicorn. Sunshine, sunshine, lady likes awake. awake. Clap, Clap your hooves and do a little shake. <laughs> <laughs> I am going for a hope of cure, and you that is not. I am not going. I, I am. I, 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 I am. For three I have this no month. Beetle, I mean, my girlfriends are all getting their hooves done, and you dead. Hello. Oh, oh, sweetie. Oh. You just did that thing. How many unicorns can just spread love wherever they go? I only know of one. And you're marrying her. You're marrying Cadence. You're marrying Cadence. I hope I'm not interrupting anything important. Cadence. Sunshine, sunshine, ladybugs awake. Clap your hooves and do a little shake. What are you doing? Cadence, it's me, Twilight. Uh-huh. 
I've got to get back to my station, but Cadence will be checking in with all of you to see how things are going. I think I speak for both of us when I say we couldn't be more excited to have you here. Right, dear? Absolutely. Well, we'll let you get to it. Cadenza. Hi, Princess Miyamore Cadenza. You come to check out what's on the menu for your big day? I have. Uh, delicious. I love, love, love them. <laughs> oh, shucks. Why don't you take a few to go? I know how you brides can be. So busy you forget to get a little something in your belly. Did do you see what she Oh, you should have seen how she acted back there. I don't know when she changed, but she changed. Please, call me Princess Miyamore Cadenza. Did I hear someone say my name? Your Highness, let me just start by saying what an honor it is to play a role in such a momentous occasion. <laughs> Uh-huh. Is my dress ready? Oh, uh, uh, yes, of course. Um, I've been working on it ever since I was given the assignment, and I think you'll be pleased with the results. <laughs> I was hoping for something with more beading and a longer train. Oh, yes, of course. And those should be a different color. I think they're lovely. Me too. I love them. Make them a different color. Gee, maybe her name should be Princess Demandy Pants. Okay, let me see. We've been over the game. The dance. Oh, I think this reception is gonna be perfect, don't you? Perfect. If we were celebrating a six-year-old's birthday party. <gasps> Of Nightmare Moon, who makes you wary? <gasps> Every year, we put on a disguise to save ourselves from her searching eyes. <laughs> but Nightmare Moon wants just one thing to gobble up ponies in one quick swing. <laughs> Hungrily, she soars the sky. If she sees no pony, she passes by, so if she comes and all is clear, Equestria is safe another year! Oh, uh, Miss Sakura, if we wear costumes to hide from Nightmare Moon so she won't gobble us up, how come we still need to give her some of our candy? A perfect question, my little friend. For Nightmare Moon, you must not offend. Fill up her belly with a treat or two. So she won't return to come eat you!
your tiny village with our presence so that you might behold the real princess of the night. A creature of nightmares no longer, but instead a pony who desires your love and admiration. Together we shall change this dreadful celebration into a bright and glorious feast. Did you hear that, everybody? Nightmare Moon says she's going to feast on us all. What? No, children, no. You no longer have reason to fear us. Screams of delight is what your princess desires, not screams of terror. <laughs> Madam Mayor, thy princess of the night hath arrived. <laughs> What is the matter with you? Very well, then. Be that way. We won't even bother with the traditional royal farewell. I'm gonna go talk to her. Ugh, you can't talk to her. She's Nightmare Moon. No, she's not. I saw the elements of harmony change her back to good. But it seems like she's having some trouble adjusting after being gone for a thousand years. Princess Luna? Hi, my name is... Star Swirl the Bearded. Commendable costume. Now we even got the bells right. Thank you, finally! Some pony who gets my costume! Uh, I just came to welcome you to our celebration. My actual name is... Twilight Sparkle. It was thou who unleashed the powers of harmony upon us and took away our dark powers! My sky swim will have to wait. I'm Rainbow Dash, and I'm here to rescue you. Yeah! Wow, what's with this crowd? Uh, thanks, every pony. It was really no big deal. To me, it was. You're my hero, Rainbow Dash. Yeah! <laughs> And I bet modest is not one of them. No, but she is kind of awesome. Never fear, your friendly neighborhood Rainbow Dash is here. hero thing might be going to Rainbow Dash's head. You may be right, silly. 
And then I zoomed into the well. I knew it would be dark and dangerous, but I didn't let that stop me. Danger's my middle name, Rainbow Danger Dash. Thinking back on it, I acted pretty awesomely heroic that day. That day. Awesomely heroic that day and awesomely arrogant ever since. Mm-hmm. Hey, Applejack, how would you like to be immortalized as my friend? Immortal what? Are you taking notes? Yep, I've been hoof-picked by Rainbow Dash herself to write her autobiography. Um, autobiographies are supposed to be written by the pony they are about. Maybe for your normal run-of-the-mill ponies. But I'm far too busy saving lives to stop and write. That's why I hired Spike as my ghostwriter. Ah! Spike the ghost! Pinkie Pie, I thought you appreciated a good laugh. It's different. They're laughing at me. It's hardly different. Your friends laugh at you all the time. My friends laugh with me, not at me. Oh, really? <laughs> <laughs> Here I thought laughter made you happy. Happy? I think so. Pinkie Pie, are we glad to see you? Oh, you are, huh? Why? Need a good laugh. Pinkie? What do you suppose has her so upset? It's not like her. I didn't notice anything strange about Pinkie. Weird. Better pick up the pace before the stress of this gets the better of all of us. I was expecting an audience with the princess, not outdoor sport. <laughs> oh my. Welcome to your lucky day, Rarity. You found the one thing in Equestria that could rival my face for sheer beauty. What do you think you like? Yes, I like very much. <laughs> no, no, I shan't succumb to such fabulousness. But get to the center to meet the others. <laughs> Forever, but it was worth it. Who knew three little gemstones would turn out to be this handsome hunk of a diamond? Now to get you home. Huh? Rarity, are we glad to see? Why are you carrying a humongous boulder? What do you mean, boulder? This big, beautiful, bedazzling rock is a diamond! And it's all mine. Keep your envious little eyes off it! I found it and it's mine, fair and square! Okay, I can do this. I can... No! Oh, wait a minute! Butterflies? Wait! Don't leave me here! Fluttershy, it looks like you've been left behind by your so-called friends, huh? Oh, no. I'm certain they're doing their best to find me. Well, it must be so upsetting to know how weak and helpless they think you are. Not at all. I am weak and helpless, and I appreciate their understanding. Yes, well, sure, it burns you up. I mean, that they're always pointing out your flaws, right? Not really. In fact, I think I'm 
awfully lucky to have friends who want me to be the best I can be. Oh, for goodness sake! You've been kind for far too long, my dear. Time to be cruel!